anybody there? can't trust him because he's a rattlesnake.
You know I'm watching out for you, buddy. You know you can't trust her. Because she's a rattlesnake. Takes a bite to watch out. She be all over. Watch out. You should be mine only. Watch out. You should be mine only.
Maybe a briefcase hang under your head. Stumbling home down Caledonian Street. <laughs> I see you out there. I see you out there in my front garden. Going pee pee on my plants. What do I gotta do to get you to go away? Open up the front door, throw your bone? Open up the front door, throw your bone.
Doctor's orders here. Remember to calm down and breathe after that. After the angry ones. <laughs> you people here must be so sick of that sound, eh?
That's very nice. Thank you very much. <clears throat> very, very. I woke up this morning all covered in blood. It's not a song. <laughs> Just an observation about how this day's going. The uh, well, I still appear to be kind of a blues man by uh, profession. I play harmonica for a living. Oh, thanks very much. I wear uh, dead man's clothes. Very whiffy old hats and sunglasses indoors and all that stuff. I'm looking to borrow 300,000 pounds over a 20 year period. Hello? Give up, buddy. But I did that crossroads. You know the crossroads, right? You all know this crossroads thing. Yeah, I did that too, but it, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not the same as the old days. Like in the old days, you'd go, you'd get down on the knees, you'd deal the, do the deal with the old bills above, and you were going to spend eternity rotting in hell. It's not so bad anymore. These are modern times. I so for you know some half decent harmonica skills or whatever, I, I just had to uh, agree to move back to Winnipeg. And get married and stuff. It's just not so bad anymore. It's not as bad as it was. I'm a bit of out of sorts, uh, tired and a bit jumbled because, you know, trying to get sleep in these uh, these cheap flea bag hotels <laughs> is uh, can be a challenge. I was at, um, I guess it was last night or recently. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, you you put you come in late at night after doing the gig and. And uh, you, you ask him, uh, what's your cheapest room? And the lady says to me, she says, oh, that'll be, that'll be $120. And I went, uh, do you have anything cheaper? And, and she looks me up and down, and she says, well, between you and me, there is a room we save for musicians. <laughs> yeah, I know this room. I know this room, people. It's, it's a dirt hole. <laughs> it's like right over the lobby, or it overlooks a a 10-lane freeway, or a parking lot full of hookers. <laughs> or it's got that blinking light in the window, vacancy, vacancy, vacancy. You know what, you've all seen it in the movies. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, thanks very much. And I, I, and I take the room and I go upstairs, I do my thing, I come down the next morning, same person working, and she says, oh, good morning, son of Dave, how was your stay? I said, well, it was fine, thank you. And she seemed a bit surprised by that. She said, well, didn't the screaming of the sex trade workers keep you up all night? <laughs> and he said, well, yes, of course it did. That's what I pay them for. <laughs> You're laughing. She didn't laugh <laughs> at all. It's, it's not true, really. <laughs> I mean, yeah. At the end of a the end of a tour, I actually go home to a, a loving family. That's what makes me an alternative blues man. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, my wife is funnier than I. <coughs> um, um, is that how it goes? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would. You know, it's try when you if you if you're doing these long road trips or even short road trips. You have to kind of keep the fire alive at home, and I, I, I you know, I want to do something to make make her happy. And so I had flowers sent ahead this one time, and the, and then I got back after after like a, a ten show run or something, and I said, "Hi, honey, I'm home." And she said, "Oh, hi, son of Dave." <laughs> <laughs> and she said, "Did did you send me these flowers?" And I said, "No, it wasn't me." And that made her happy. <laughs> you understand, right? 
Yeah, you understand. Okay, what? What's this happening here? Yeah, there's something. Something angry section. <laughs> classic rock section. Disco section. They're all. A new sick jam, as the young, young folks like to call it. <coughs> You're all going to find out how sick it is in the front row. Because there's going to be a lot of sweating and phlegm. <laughs> you, made your, you made your front row top class bed, and now you got to lay in it. Uh, all right, this is a new one. We're gonna try to try to pull this off. Okay. <laughs> ghost town around here. Oh wait, there's a light on up just up ahead. Uh, go check that out. There's the, the base coming out through the walls. And there's that sweet, sweet smell. I'll just stick my nose in, see what's going on. play one or two more and then take a break like they do in jazz clubs. <laughs> it means that the, the waitress doesn't have to actually wander all the way through the table to the middle table. You, you, in the break, you get up and go, oh. Ah, no, I'm not done talking yet. Because a lot of this gig, a lot of this blues man gig, it seems to be about selling alcohol. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not funded by grants, for instance. <laughs> Unless that's a brand of bourbon. <laughs> uh, 
and I remember this one very, um, this uh, one profitable evening I had, like the more, <coughs> the more we sell uh, alcohol, the, the more likely it is um, we're going to get hired back or, or paid at all at the end of the night. I there was this one very profitable show I remember, uh, I was up in Glasgow, and uh, it was, I'll paint a picture for you, it was one of these really <laughs> savage evenings. And the end of the night, there's an ambulance out front, right? There's, you know, there's broken glass and human hair all over the dance floor. The, the opening band had their guitar stolen. It was just, you know, cacophony. And, and, and uh, the, the promoter comes to me at the end of the show, and he goes, great, Christ on the day, it was fucking amazing. You know, you, we made over uh, 3,000 pounds in the bar, you know, it's fucking great. Wow, that is impressive, considering there's only 10 people in the audience. <laughs> They, it's a, it's a, this can be a slippery slope. You have to, uh, you know. And, and like a good alternative blues man, I spend two or three days a week sober. <laughs> you don't get a Cadillac for that. Where are we gonna? Where are we gonna take you? Some some place weird, and then I'll then I'll get off. Let's try one more. Yeah. It's a little weird on this side. Let me pull one more. And uh, here comes this pattern. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fabulous Sunset Lounge. I'm your host, Son of Dave, and I'm here to play the hits of yesteryear and today. Uh, that's something for the young and old at heart. I can't read it from here. Forget it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Andre, Tequilita, Doblo, por favor. Okay, I take a little break. Yeah, you're not supposed to do accents anymore, eh? It's fine as long as you do all of them, including Hoser. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'll see you in a while, eh? Great, thanks.
Thank you. 
say bless you when somebody sneezed. Now if they cough, you just walk away. But bless you. Sit down. The man said. Said, sit back down. Hands up. She said. The lady said, man, hands off. Oh, baby, please don't. Don't make me have to. I'm trying hard. I'm bound to kick. I'm born to kick your butt. You lied. The man 
in the country live like my mom and daddy
starts to get up and move around and wiggle their bits. I mean, that gives me something to look at.
haven't got you out of your seats yet. You're comfortable. Little uh, seats. But I know it takes more than pure rock talent <laughs> and uh, some cheesy old jokes. I know it takes more. These are hard times. People are tired. They work really hard. I understand. It takes more these days to get people out of their seats. <laughs> what I got here. 300 fake Yankee dollars, and this will go to whomever gets a successful conga line going in the next song. Yeah? Game on? Yeah, we'll see. so that you would not have to get up and dance. Well, that's all right. You paid your, your ticket price. You're the boss. You're going to be in charge. You feel comfortable, and I honestly encourage you to just sit there and take it easy. While me... Stamina for one more, one more soul finger, one more little finger. Can you fit it in
to go down now? No. You want to go up some more? Fine. It's techno time, you bunch of savages. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Till your feet are stomping. And the jam is pumping. Look here, the crowd start jumping. Pump it up a little more. Get the party going on the dance floor. See, cause that's where the party's at, and you'd find out if you did that. <laughs> Six weeks back home now. I think it's time to be moving on. Six weeks back home now. I think it's time to be moving on. That six weeks back with you, girl. I ain't got no happy home. <laughs> Thank you. 
little condo where you to be back before you know it. Take a look around over yonder. I'll be back before you know it. Don't come with me, girlfriend. Mm, I'm gonna have to solo go it. I did. I don't wear me should have kept my business head. Thank <laughs> you. 
is not ringing off the hook and I'm running out of time so maybe you could do me the favor of telling Mr. Big of Big Records to hire me for the main stage before my heart pops out of my arm <laughs> then I'll come out or thank you or, or buy a record <laughs> Buy a record, that's good. That's the, uh, I don't know. At the end of the night, I have this finger pop and he cut, uh, pop it and he counts up all the money. It keeps me uh, humble. <laughs> you would be too. You'd be humble if you had to have a finger puppet count the money. It's great. Do you like the blue suit? Thanks. It's uh, I uh, you know that that other that blues guy. You know him, uh, Carsick Bob. You know that guy? Of course you do. Of course you do. Many, many long years, but it was, I mean, he had a new blue suit on for every show. Always impressive, like, how does he do that? And working with social media, too, like, wow, how do you do that? And how do you find the time and the money to get all those suits? Like, how do you do that? Well, I found out one day, <laughs> he was, he had a day job. He was working in a morgue. I'm not going to say anything bad about the guy. Recently passed, and I'm sure some of you, some of you all, knew that and loved his music. <coughs> but I went, I went to the funeral, and I got a, a few minutes alone with old Carson. <laughs> so that's two dead guys that have already been in this suit. What are the odds of that? Now, what would be the odds of a third? Hopefully, we're doing all right. And uh, I'm going to, at the risk of, of milking this cat, <laughs> to uh, <laughs> the risk of taking this too far, the, uh, so I, I get this new suit, you know, and I had a long walk. I feel really good. I walked all the way home, a good long walk home. And I was tired when I got home, and I lay down on the sofa. And I fell asleep and put a little, in a little, uh, you know, a little age nap. And I woke up to the sound of my wife screaming. <coughs> and I sat up, what is it, what is it? And she goes, oh, oh, thank goodness. I've never seen you in a new suit before. I thought you must be dead.
Shall we do another from the classic rock? Uh, yeah. I'll work you up for that. In these increasingly polarized times, we fell under, we find ourselves once again in a three-tier society. To explain this. There's you, the proletariat, the great unwashed. There's me, kind of in the middle, comfortable middle. But what we got here, what we got here is a fucking super elite. Big round of applause for their super elite.
you shake a bow. to playing smaller rooms. wait until it turns. You'll know when. You'll know when. No, you won't know when. Okay, I'll just, that's okay. I'll just tell you when, when to do it. You're going to be good. Everybody, do we feel all right? Though it ain't on the mind, bam a lamb, the poor thing went blind. Bam a lamb, whoa, black daddy, bam a lamb, whoa, black daddy, bam a lamb. <laughs> Whoa, black man, 
This song is old, eh? Long before the 1970s. First recorded by a fella called Blair Belly. But it's older than he was. Turn of the century kind of stuff. Now nobody knows what it's about. Some folks say it's about a whip. If you didn't get your work done on time, you were going to taste a bit of the Black Betty. That's not nice, is it? No, even by today's working wage standards, that's not very nice, is it? Oh, the elite, I love it. Other folks say it's about a young woman who got in the family way. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Take the CD. Please leave the other stuff. Somebody else's lips will be on that tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Good night. Good work. It's nice to be back here. Good work. Thank you, Oh God, oh no, oh God, it's time for the funk, I can't believe it. Early in the morning about the break of day. Dancing my baby right away. Crying and pleading won't do no good. Come back, baby, I wish you would.
late at night. Makes you feel all right, is it? Come on now, sugar, what you trying to do? You're trying to love me and some other man too. Are we done?
an original. There's no pleasing some people. <laughs> Hundreds of originals. I'll do a... Uh, yeah, I will. I will. You can't tell me what to do. I'll do whatever I want. Okay. Good work. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have someone that I, I can blame for that. I know the tune. Uh. <laughs> oh wow, yes, it's just a. Uh, on a blank, which happens sometimes, and uh, drinking helps. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you, you, uh, it's easy to say goodbye, but not farewell is nice. Yeah, and if some jerk ever writes adieu at the end of an email, Longer I st sit here, dumbly not remembering that song, the longer you are allowed to sit and drink before they throw us out. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. 
All right, sweethearts, thanks very much. Good work, everybody. Thanks very much for coming.